Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you about our new 3D printer that we bought. I'll put a link up here. This video just came out today and it's published on our Guru Brew channel. And take a look at it. It's pretty interesting. We actually bought a kit to make our own 3D printer. Now in this video, I thought I would sum up what a 3D printer is and how it works and what you can use it for. So let's get started. Okay, so if you don't know what a 3D printer is, don't feel too bad. Really, the technology has only been around for the last four or five years and become popular enough for an average person to own one. Basically, what it allows you to do, it's a process that you can make any 3D object that you can think of. If you wanna make this hand, or you want to make a little army guy, or you want to make a toothbrush or a comb or a case for your iPhone. These are all things that you can make with a 3D printer. Really, your imagination is the limit. The process isn't very fast and it does take a few hours to create a project, but uh, you can make one-off projects very cheaply and it can be done now in your own home. It's such a popular process now that Staples Office Products, the chain, recently started carrying 3D printers at the uh, Staples store. You can actually go in and buy a 3D printer. There's many websites that have 3D printed models ready to print. You can download what you like and just put it on your printer and begin to print. I'll talk about how these work. There's, di there's actually different types of 3D printers. There's additive and subtractive processes. The one that we purchased is an additive process, and what I mean by that is material is slowly added and built up to make the final product, whereas the subtractive uh, process removes the material to make the final product. 3D printing has been around since the 1980s and back in the early day there was a process that allowed photosensitive polymers to be cured with UV light. Now 3D printers work on a principle of similar to a craftsman's glue gun if you will. This is similar to how, how a 3D printer would work. Imagine that if I were to want to make this little army guy and I could somehow very accurately start building up the glue over and over again until I got to the top and finally made this little man. Well, that's exactly how a 3D printer works, except instead of extruding glue out the nozzle, you use special materials. This is called PLA, and there's also ABS. They also have materials that have uh, wood fibers in it as well as metal fibers and they also now have a rubberized material that's flexible it'll allow you to make flexible phone covers and actual wearing apparel now the process is still slow but uh, it's affordable back in the early 2010s a 3d printer could run you as much as i wrote this down twenty thousand dollars if you can imagine that now you can you can actually build or buy one for less than a thousand dollars now let's talk about how it works if you imagine an object such as this little army guy if i were to take little tiny slices and just cut them up a thousand times um those little slices are then calculated and then squirted out with the nozzle, the hot nozzle. And that's exactly how it's done. It's just built layer by layer by layer. And that's why it takes so long, but uh, it's all computer controlled. So once you set it up, you can just let it run. And there are websites such as Thingiverse that have downloads from people that have created their own objects and share them. And you can go on there and download an object. Say you want a pumpkin for Halloween. You can look through list of pumpkins, pick one out, download it for free, and actually print it on your printer. And you can even modify it and put your own name on it. And it's just a really neat thing. Now, 
I've talked about other materials that people have put through these, but there are stranger materials. They're also shooting chocolate to build eatable uh, 3D objects. Um, silicone sealants being used for rubberized material. Chemical reactants and many, many plastics are being used. And I expect that list to grow as people think of new creative ways to shoot things for a, through a heated nozzle. So anyway, I encourage you again to go look at our 3D printer video. We plan on doing a lot of videos using this machine and we're learning the technology too. This is new to us too, so perhaps we can learn together. So leave us comments below. I hope that this video enlightened you and um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.